Whew, how's it going guys? I'm doing better. I'm feeling better. I still got my cough, so bear with me if I start coughing. I have a little a little attack here. Anyhow, today didn't go quite as planned, so I'm I spent I'm on my lunch hour right now and I just towed my Omi's car to the house because it wasn't running on her, it just died. And after a little bit of inspection, I found out that there's no oil and her oil filter completely came off. And um, we're, so we're getting it picked up by a tow truck right now and they're gonna take it back to where the oil change was done so that they can do some diagnosis on it, run some stuff, figure out what's going on and have everything ready to go. Now, the tow truck man's dry, pulling up right now, so I'm gonna help him out for a second, and we'll cut right back in. There we go, so we got mics out here, and we're gonna get Omi's car loaded up, and then hauled off. Man, this thing, this would be helpful just to have. <laughs> There she goes. Shout out to Mike's auto towing. Man, these guys are awesome. And that was a well done job. So now, now I can tell you the rest of what happened with uh, the car there. Omi calls and hey, it's dead, it's the battery. So I was like, okay, just thinking, you know what, let's try, let's try and start it. Yeah, it sounds like it's not wanting to start. So I'm, I'm trying, Whew. staring at that door's a little bright. And anyhow, didn't go, didn't go so well. And I was like, well, let's just tow it to the house. I get it to the house and I go underneath it and my, I wipe my hand on this felt uh, cover, engine cover underneath there. And it's just covered in oil. I thought, oh no. So I took that cover off real quick and I found the oil filter just sitting right there. And so anyhow, the oil filter's in the car, the car's on its way back to the shop. And this is what I love about the shop where it's going. And I, I called and I said, hey, my grandma had her car in there, my Omi and this is her name and uh this is the car he goes oh, okay yeah no worries hey can we get that in here as soon as possible and i said well i could tow it down there but i'm clear up here on uh the very far north side of town and you guys are way in south hutch and he's like hey no worries i'll call the tow truck we'll get them out we'll get it picked up and then we'll do our diagnostics on it figure out what happened whether it's human error whether we have faulty filter or something else is going on we'll figure it out and that that is what i love so i want to give red rock a shout out too in this video because you guys are amazing and you guys help so many people and maybe maybe they're not as appreciative but my my omi and i were very appreciative of you guys and all of your services it's amazing keep it up and we will definitely see you in the future for some new, more fuel some more services and man you guys just keep doing what you do the guys at mike's auto hey thank you so much for being amazing 
have a great day. And on that note, I think we're gonna end this vlog off. So for the rest of you guys, I thank you guys for stopping in. We'll catch you in the next video. I'm doing better. Stick around because right after, right after this vlog, we're gonna have another one. <laughs> so stay tuned. God bless. Real quick before we end off this vlog, we're gonna go ahead and read our day-by-day -day devotions for dads. And today, catch anything. Many men go fishing their entire lives without knowing it's not fish they're after. Henry David Thore, Thoria, Thoria. After my dad died, I realized how many conversations I had not had with him. Questions regularly came to mind that now would never be answered. Some related to his own youth, others related to any regrets he may have had and accomplishments he was most proud of. One question that left me uneasy was whether my father was disappointed that I had never found satisfaction in sitting in a rowboat for hours at a time waiting for a bluegill, crappie, or northern pike to tug on my line. My dad enjoyed that. At least I think he did. For decades, every August, the pen, pen liner family went up north to share in the traditions of catching, cleaning, and talking about fish. I enjoyed the time with my dad and cherish, cherish those moments. But for this boy, a single hour on the water would have been enough. Four or five was way too long. Out of my teens, I never pursued the sport. Not long after, I asked my mom if it had, if it had made dad sad that I ne had never become an avid fisherman. She looked at me quizzically and confirmed that it had never been an issue. Dad had shared 50 years of experience with me. Fishing was just one of many, and the fact that I didn't share that one hobby was nowhere near a concern. I was glad to hear it. Still, I wish I had asked Dad that question. What about you? Is there anything left unsaid between you and your father? Something minuscule in, in importance? Something significant? If he's still around, consider calling him today. Shout out, Dad. Love you. I'll call you later. Yeah. We, my dad and I talk a lot. Anyhow, I wanted to get that in there before we ended off this vlog. So if you guys stuck around for this, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. We're on our way to 1,300 subscribers. That's amazing. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful evening, a great night, and a good morning. God bless. Don't ever give up, God is here with you Yeah, You are a child, nothing but love is true Just got it fixed in view, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ